on Creamer Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Diversity Urban Property Fund is investing 2 billion rand in two redevelopment projects, the Absa Towers Main Building and Jewel City in Johannesburg, as part of its strategy to create thriving mixed-use inner-city precincts. Tasneem Bulbulia tells us more. This investment is the largest in the Johannesburg Central Business District for a number of years and was announced by Diversity and its investors with Johannesburg Mayor Herman Mashabi in attendance. Dallas Property Fund Chairperson Deborah Marishawa tells us more. We are pressing developers that are focused on inner city uh, developments. Uh, we develop functional neighborhoods where people can live, work and play. Well, in our pipeline, we've got two major projects, one being uh, Jewel City, which was the former Diamond Center. We're still very much the Diamond Center of South Africa. They will be moving out of uh, Jewel City, and at that site, we'll be developing 1,500 uh, affordable residential rental units, together with a uh, commercial um, offering in the form of a shopping center and some educational facilities. There's a school, we're talking to two private school operators that would uh, build a school there, as well as early childcare development centers. And the other development is the Apsa Towers Main, which is a redevelopment of the uh, iconic uh, Apsa Towers Main building, which is the former head office of Apsa Bank in, um, in the Joburg CBD. Our partners is Atterbury for their Atterbury property developers for, for their commercial development uh, exp expertise and Itemba property managers who really uh, specialize in management of uh, residential uh, developments. At the moment, they manage over four and a half thousand apartments across the country, um, as well as uh, rent merchant holdings and uh, net bank property partners. For us, it's been a journey of about 18 months of negotiation uh, with, the, with, the, with the owners. I'm saying in the instance of uh, uh, Jewel City, we've been in, in negotiations with uh, uh, Redefine, who own the property. Uh, we, we've developed the idea of, of uh, basically repurposing that, that development because um, it had come to its end of life for the previous owners. And our vision was to really to support the housing backlog that is in, in, uh, in the city of Johannesburg at the moment. And likewise with APSA, uh, they, they are busy with a space optimization uh, process and we submitted a bid to which we were successful. We succeeded in, in convincing the whole APSA board uh, that they should select us as a development partner to repurpose that building for a mixed use building of a residential office and retail. Well, at this stage we've, we've covered uh, uh, planning, the planning stage, I mean the you know, preparation of drawings. All the drawings are submitted to council for approval. That part is done. So the next phase is really to break ground physically with contractors on site and uh, converting the city of Johannesburg into a construction site. Work on the Jewel City project is set to begin in November. It will reopen to the public as a mixed-use precinct with a fully pedestrianized streetscape and a total development value of over 1.2 billion rand once fully completed. The EPSA project will begin in early 2019, with EPSA expected to reoccupy the towers in early 2020. Once completed, the development will be valued at over 400 million rand. Mogashawa reassures that for both these projects, Diversity's developments will not have a negative impact on surrounding local communities through the company pursuing conscious development strategies. Transformation is, uh, is at the heart of our investment philosophy at Diversity. So working with established community structures such as the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the councillors that are active in the areas they link us with the communities. We, we work closely with the city of Johannesburg, whom will also uh, advise on which uh, empowerment, uh, uh, sort of local empowerment structures we are to utilize as we build out this new uh, uh, investments. Uh, the, um, our, the, our procurement strategy will really be biased or more focused on SMMEs and largely the developing uh, uh, new, new developing businesses that are operating within the city. 
So uh, transformation and empowerment is something that is at the top of our agenda as, as a diversity. Speaking at the announcement of these two projects, Johannesburg Executive Mayor Herman Mashabe expressed his admiration for these types of endeavors and committed government support. For us as, as government, we can provide uh, services like making sure that there's security in, in the environment. We fast track the applications, be it housing plans. Uh, uh, we are responsible for providing bulk infrastructure in the area, making sure that uh, we provide all government related uh, services. That's what we can do as government. What I think for me it's important is to ensure that uh, the applications are processed and processed uh, quickly so that they can start uh, the, the construction site and ensure that there's, um, the, there's safety in, in, in their areas and ensure that we provide other services as I've in, already indicated, bulk services. They will need bulk services uh, to really be able to cater for the number of units that uh, they're going to be uh, uh, constructing. So it, that that is where the government comes to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to really be a partner in, in, in this development. As government, uh, we, we have the responsibility uh, to create an enabling environment for the private sector to be able to invest. I'm sure you're aware um, it is uh, an open secret uh, that the city of Johannesburg is sitting with massive challenges of affordable accommodation. And uh, here is it with the private sector on their own, uh, really prepared to put their money where their mouths are. And uh, our role as a city is uh, to play a facilitation role and really be the support. And uh, we are excited uh, by what they want to do. For me, without uh, private, uh, private partnerships, the city of Johannesburg, we might as well close our doors because government does not have the money on its own, does not have the balance sheet, does not have the resources on its own to provide uh, this uh, critical need of affordable accommodation. South Africa, from pro national, provincial and local government, we don't have such resources. Government does not have the expertise to really be able to, uh, to, to execute this construction phase. So it is important uh, 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 for us as government to play an enabling role because the private sector as well cannot operate in an environment that is not conducive, that is hostile to private sector investment. So we are saying as a city of Johannesburg, we are ready to do business, we are ready to attract investment in our city. I'm really totally overwhelmed. That's why I've really offered uh, us as a city to use uh, this, uh, this uh, uh, project as a case study uh, to, for us to really be able to assist the others. As you are aware, the city of Johannesburg, we've got 84 buildings uh, that are out for proposals of, by the private sector, and we will be releasing more buildings uh, in, the, in the coming years. Now here, we've got an opportunity to work uh, with the private sector, with their own buildings. Ours is just to really provide them the necessary support. So I think basically based on what I've committed that you want to turn the inner city of Johannesburg into a construction site, I think this is going to be an ideal uh, platform to use this as a case study to uh, invite other uh, developers because we are not really offering this support exclusive uh, to diversity, the property fund. We are offering this support to everyone. Actually, that's why I want this to really be exposed so that investors can have the confidence back that the city of Johannesburg, the inner city in particular, is ready um, to turn the city into a construction site. Telus Property Fund Chairperson Devora Shawa expressed that diversity had no plans of slowing down. We've got plans to expand into Durban and Cape Town, Pretoria. We are urban uh, developers, so our focus is really on rejuvenating urban uh, development fabric. That's Creamer Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.